the method named darken background begins on the right of your screen. This method receives two incoming parameters of type picture, one named pattern and the other named dest, which is an abbreviation for destination. The darken background method uses the picture from the first incoming parameter as a pattern to determine which pix pixels in the destination picture should be darkened and which pixels in the destination picture should be given a red tint as shown on the bottom right of your screen. In this case, the pattern is a cropped version of the image of the black ellipse in the green background as shown here. The destination image, whose pixels will either be darkened or, or given a red tint, is the cropped image of the snow scene as shown here. The darkened background method assumes that the pattern image has a pure green background as shown here. The darkened background method also assumes that the pattern and the destination have the same dimensions. That is the case in this program. The darken background method darkens every pixel in the destination image that is at the location of a green pixel in the pattern image. The method applies a red tint to every pixel in the, destin in the destination image that is at the location of a pixel in the pattern image that is not green. Here is a question for you. What is the format of the data returned by the getPixels method of Barb Erickson's picture class? The answer is that the Get pixels method returns a reference to a one-dimensional array object. Each element in the array contains a reference to a pixel object that represents one of the pixels in the image that is encapsulated in the picture object. The darken background method begins by calling the getPixels method on each of the picture objects in order to create a pair of array objects, each of which contains references to pixel objects, where each pixel object represents one of the pixels in the image encapsulated in the respective array object. You learned how to use the getPixels method in an earlier lecture. Here is another question for you. Can you describe a situation in which the use of Erickson's getPixels method is particularly appropriate or particular, particularly useful. This approach is very useful when you 
want to apply the same operation to every pixel in an image and you don't need to be concerned about the locations of the pixels in terms of their horizontal and vertical positions in the image. Recall that the two picture objects created by the code on the upper right of your screen have the same dimensions. Therefore, each object has the same number of pixels as the other object and the lengths of the two arrays are the same. That being the case, a given array index specifies pixel data from the same location in both pictures. After creating the two array objects containing references to pixel data, the code in the darken background method declares some working variables that will that will be used later. The beginning of the processing loop for the darkened background method is now showing on the right of your screen. This method uses a for loop to traverse the two arrays of pixel data in parallel. While traversing the two arrays in parallel, it uses information gleaned from the pattern picture to make the required color changes to the destination picture. 